Data sources can be modified in the browser if it contains less than 100 rows or 50 columns. The data sources must also be user-defined. Connected data sources cannot be modified due to their dependency on an external source. To edit a column header, simply click into it and replace the text. Columns may be reordered by changing the associated number. Note that bound fields in form designs are locked to the column position. If you move columns in the data source, your field bindings must also be updated. To delete a column, click on the red X. To change a column type, click the drop down below the column header. A row position can be moved up or down by using the arrows on the far right. A row can be deleted by clicking the red X. Row data may be modified by clicking directly into the cell. Some actions trigger a save automatically. It is always best practice to save frequently using the Save button. Data sources may also be edited by exporting to Excel. This method is a time saver when bulk changes are needed. Click the Export button to download a copy. Open the file in Excel, make the desired changes, and upload it back into the data source. Data entry screens can be designed to create, update, and delete rows in a data source. For example, to manage contacts, you might build a form to create new contacts or modify an existing one. Another form can be built to delete contacts from the data source. The last method to mention here is the API. An endpoint is available to update a specified row or an entire data source.